Hey there, TRW crew. Matt Vassallo here with the RhinestoneWorld.com. So I know many of you have been waiting for this video, waiting for this upgrade. So this is a video that's going to show you the new upgrades for the TRW Stone Wizard version 1.12. So real excited about this upgrade. Did a lot of work, added a lot of cool new things that are going to help you get some sales for your business and obviously the best part about all of it it's a free upgrade so those of you that have the current trw stone wizard version 1.1 so you've already purchased your 30 dollars upgrade or you purchased the 1.1 for the 209.99 on the website then you are going to get this version 1.12 upgrade for free so we have a couple fixes in the upgrade but then the best part is we have some free new features in the upgrade so that's the part all of you are going to love and i'm going to run through a couple of those with you here real quick so with the version 1.12, we added over 30 new TRW mockups. So when you go to your mockups tab over here to the side, you'll see we have a women's scoop neck front and back. We have a long sleeve front and back, a burnout front and back, a V-neck front and back, a dry fit front and back, a tank top front and back. Then you'll see your different tabs here. You go to your men's, you have a front and back tee, front and back hoodie, front and back long sleeve. On the youth, we have a girl's front and back, a boy's front and back, and a onesie front and back. And then our on our accessories, we, we have our TRW drawstring bag. We have our TRW keychains, our TRW adjustable headbands. We have our TRW koozies our TRW style tote bags, and our rhinestone car window decal. So all the different Blake items we also have on here for you to be able to decorate and show your customers some awesome mock-ups. So that's uh, all these mock-ups are all pictures that we took of myself, my wife, my daughter, my son. So all awesome looking mock-ups, awesome looking shirts that are going to look awesome for your customers when you send them an email or an image of what their awesome design that you're about to make them is going to look like so another thing we added is our magic bling and that's just going to give you that bling look for the mock-up so we're going to go through that and we have multiple sizes for it as well and then we have our group ungroup and ungroup all so you'll see a new button there we have our we used to just have the group ungroup and now we have the ungroup all as well so a couple new features so those are the awesome new features again over 30 new mock-ups our magic bling and our ungroups and then you'll see we have some improvements for the last one so again anytime we come out with an upgrade or sometimes we'll just come out with patches any issues that anybody's running into we fix those right away and get them fixed so i know jesse had a couple issues with the um, fill between two stones and then having to break them apart and trying to use a clear pass so we fix that real quick um, a couple of people had mentioned something about getting our drop down in a good alphabetical order so this is all in in alphabetical order now so all the light um, colors are light amethyst orange pink sapphire topaz are all right there and then everything else is in alphabetical order so it's easier to find or of course you can just type it in as far as whatever color you want as well <laughs> and then we have um, as far as with our magic respace we were having a couple issues where if you're using your standard corel colors and using the magic respace um, you would get an error message so we fixed that and now you can use all of our trw um, stone wizard colors or any of the corel colors and the magic respace is going to work for you no problem so the, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go over some of the actual upgrades and i'm going to show you the difference as far as a few things of what a few things will do so a real basic one right here just our group ungroup ungroup all um, what a, may, a lot of you may not know as far as what the big difference is in that so I'm gonna go ahead and hit a new tab right here and let's just draw a couple squares so we're gonna go to our shape tool and we'll draw three squares there and three squares here so let's turn these squares into a yellow these turn these squares into a pink so if I highlight these three and group them and then I go over to these three and group them you can see now when I highlight them all, we only have two objects because we have one object and one object, okay? Now, let's say these are stones and we have all of our citrine stones and all of our TRW hot pinkle stones grouped together. And then I want to group all everything together. Now, obviously, we have our different objects on one layer here. So 
you can move them all around, makes it real easy to move around, where before, if you hit ungroup, it will ungroup everything. Well, now, if you just hit ungroup, what that's going to do is ungroup it into its subgroups. So it's these three are going to still stay grouped, and these are going to still stay grouped, okay? Where our other option would be, let's group it back together. These are grouped. If I hit ungroup all, what that's going to do, it's going to break it all apart. So all of these stones or boxes in this case are all individual again and broken apart. So you're going to see that you have six different objects down here. Okay, so that's real basic. I'll group, ungroup, ungroup all. A lot of you, and you can do that up here in Corel Draw, but a lot of people are asking for a quick feature. Since we already have the group, ungroup down here, let's get all three of the buttons. <laughs> okay, so now let's get into some cool stuff here. So we have our class of 14 design right here. So this is a design that we just released on the website today. Awesome looking design with our glitter heat transfer vinyl. And then we also, you can't see right now, but let me just show you. We have stones surrounding the inside of it. So we got our glitter heat transfer silver, our green grass, and then our stones on the inside of that. So what we want to do is we want to make that look awesome onto a design for someone. And real popular thing around our area with our, um, our blanks that we sell are the little drawstring bags. So let's say we want to put this design on a drawstring bag, okay? So let's select the design here, and we click on our drawstring bag. And this is what we're going to get. It's going to run through its magic. Bam, there it is, perfectly on the drawstring bag. Now, if we want to change this bag to a different color, hold Control, click on the bag. And let's just say we wanted it blue or orange. So we'll go with an orange right now. So there's our orange drawstring bag. And there's our stones there. Now, we want to make those stones look like rhinestones. Just click on your image. Right here, hit Magic Stones. And... There you go. Now you got your perfect rhinestone look there. Okay. Now the next thing that you're all going to love is we can make it look like it's got some bling on it. So if we click on the magic bling toggle button right here, and I'm going to hold shift, and then I'm just going to click in different spots. Click there, click there, click there, 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 and there. Okay, now I'm going to click on the magic bling again. That turns it off. So that's going to give us our bling look as far as coming off the rhinestones there to just make it look even cooler on your mock-ups. So again, I'll show you another example of that and show you how you can do multiple sizes too. So we highlight our design. We're going to go create customer mock-up with no shirt. We can go ahead and ungroup them. That's fine. It's going to run through its magic here, and bam, there you go. There's our mock-up that we want to use for a website. It's going to put your dimensions, your stone count, and uh, your logo in there perfectly for you. So let's click on it, and let's go ahead and hit Magic Stones. So there's our stone look, perfect-looking crystal stones. Now what we can do is if we click on our Magic Bling, if I don't hold Shift, it's going to make a bigger star. So bam, 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 bam. I guess I should be saying Bling. Bling, 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 bling. Okay, now if I hold shift, it's going to make a smaller bling. So let's say I want to make the glitter look like it has a little bling in it. I'm holding shift. Let's throw a couple on these stones over here, a couple right here and here. And now when I zoom out, you can see, oh, I want to click on my magic bling to turn it off. And you can see what kind of look we're going to get on that. So I'm going to put them side by side on the black right here just to show you the difference. This is without the shift key held and then this is with the shift key held. So you can see it's going to give you a variation of those bling looks so they don't all look the exact same. Okay, and then again, click on the magic bling. You're going to do that a lot off the start, and I'm not even used to it yet, is click on the magic bling button again just to turn it off. Otherwise, every time you click, it's going to be adding bling all over the place. So, but you can see the different sizes and the fading that we get on the bling to give it that awesome looking bling look. And then obviously, it's going to make your design look a lot cooler to give it that bling look with the rhinestones. Okay, so now what we can do is let's go to another option here let's see what other ones we have pulled up so we got a let's see a koozie design <laughs> let's say we're using our magic litter we just typed out some text here in a basic font eat sleep cheer we want to throw that on top of a, a koozie to give them a mock-up show them what it looks like let's just highlight our design go to mock-ups click on our koozie and bam there you go koozie 
perfect looking can. Can can be whatever beverage you want, your beverage of choice. We don't have any names on there, so if you want it to be a, a Coca-Cola, there you go. You want it to be a brew, and there you go. You got a brew, haha. So again, hold control, click on your koozie, click on whatever color you want. You got your green, your blue, your red, your pink, your purple, anything you want. Great looking koozie. You got your beverage of choice right there. You got your logo on the bottom. And again, you can send this to your customer, show them exactly what that's going to look like, sizing and everything. And you don't have to waste a koozie or waste material to make a sample for them. You got a perfect sample right here. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's go to our headband. This is just our TRW-130 True Type font. So we just did a baseball mom real quick. Let's turn it to crystal, highlight it, click on our headband right there. And there you go. Throws it perfect on our headband. Probably want to change this color to a, I don't know, let's change it to a pink. Great looking pink. Now with the black on the headband there, we probably want to change this background color to a gray or a white, just so it stands out a little more. Click on our design, hit our, now we can do our magic stones. There it's going to give us our perfect stone look. Now let's add some bling to this, hold shift, and bam, bam, bling, 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 bling. And click on magic bling again. We got our bling look. We got our logo. We can type whatever we want in here as far as a design name or anything you want it to say. And you got a perfect looking mock-up of our headbands. Again, sized right because we, we did the sizing proportionate. So if you try to fit a design on there that's not going to fit on the headband, let's just say that this font right here that we're working with is, let's just make it a blue. And let's just say it's this big, okay? It's 17 inches by 2 inches. We know that there's no way that's fitting on the headband. So if I highlight this design and try to put it on the mock-up of the headband, it's going to say, no chance, buddy. There you go. It's going to make it so it doesn't fit on there, and it's not going to look good because we know that that design's not going to fit on that headband anyway. So it makes it a lot easier for you to know if the design's really going to fit on that headband or mock-up. <laughs> okay, and then obviously we have our TRW style bag, our drawstring bag, the, the car decals and everything else in there too. All right, so let's go ahead and show you one more thing here. And this this is really cool because I there's so many options for upgrades and upcharges with the back of the shirts. And that's why we added all the back of the mock-ups. So say, for example, this design right here, our class of 14 design that we just released, you wanted their school logo on the front, and then you wanted the class of 14 on the back. Okay, real easy to do. Highlight that design. Uh, what do you want to throw it on the back of? Let's throw it on the back of a, how about, let's throw it on the back of a burnout t-shirt. I can show you what that looks like. Click on the back of the burnout tee, and bam, there you go. Look how awesome that looks. Again, highlight it all. Let's throw it on the back of a long sleeve shirt here. And bam, there you go. Again, change the, that shirt. Let's say we wanted to go with that orange that we were looking at earlier, or the pink, or the red, anything you want. Awesome looking back of a shirt. Fits it perfect. Click on it. Let's go magic stones. Magic stones are perfect. You can see it's going to give you that perfect stone look when you zoom in there. And now what do we want to do? Of course, we want to add some magic bling. Hold shift. Bling, 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 bling. Bling, 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 bling. Hit magic bling again. Zoom out a little bit. It's going to give that mock-up the bling look. It's got the rhinestone look. It's got the glitter look. It's got a perfect mock-up that looks like an actual person wearing it. It's got your logo. What's the last thing we need to do real quick? You're going to add your website. The rhinestoneworld.com. We're going to do it at a 96 transparency, so it doesn't show up that much. Add watermark, and there you go. Look at that. You can see it just barely in the background. Not enough to take away from your actual image, but enough to get your logo on there so anybody can't just grab the image and put it on their website as well. So those are the upgrades and the changes for the TRW Stone Wizard version 1.12 that we are releasing today and um, we are again this is a free upgrade if you already have the version 1.1 so today Tuesday August 27th 2013 so we are going to um, 
it is on the website right now. Now, in order to download this upgrade, all you need to do is go to your version 1.1 purchase on the TRW website. So just go to your purchase, log into the website, log into your account, and go to your account history. And then you're just going to go to your order where you purchased the 1.1, whether it was the upgrade or the full version, and you'll see the link for the 1.12 there. So just click on that. It's going to install. It'll know your computer ID if you've already activated everything. And it will just go ahead and change it out for you. And the way to know that you got the upgrade is you'll see version 1.12 on the macro when you pull it up. So very excited about this upgrade. Very excited that we could get so many mock-ups and the bling and the groups and everything and the fixes for you. And obviously, you're probably very excited that you get it all for free. So if you do have any questions about the wizard, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. We look forward to working with you and, and creating many more tutorial videos, teach you how to use the wizard, make you guys wizards of your own. And um, again, this is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com, and you guys all have a wonderful day.